right, everybody, here we are, Zion National Park. Sixty-seven degrees. It's approximately nine forty-four. It looks like we got a little bit of line to get in here. Two lanes coming in, so we'll bear with it. What are we going to use today, Kim? America the Beautiful. America the Beautiful. So we've used it twice already, so this will be third time. This one's thirty dollars, so now we're, we're even. It's eighty dollars we've spent for the three. So we've gone to three national parks and we've paid our eighty dollar card fee for America the Beautiful. So, so we're even. Everything the, else is profit. For the next twelve months or eleven months, till our card runs out and expires. Uh, we'll be going to any park, national park, we want to. that accepts America the Beautiful for it's definitely a deal. free. Can't beat it. So, you see they got a little escapees camper van in front of us. We uh, saw them at Walmart, if it's the same one. They were either from Germany or Switzerland, Switzerland or, or Netherlands. Um, nice people. Nice little couple. Traveling, getting it out, doing it. Just if you want to go out and try it, get your little Class C, Class B, and just go. You don't have to get a big fifth wheel and rent it out or a big Class A. Try something small, see if you like it. Maybe a little bit smaller than you want, but at least you'll get the feel of camping and going some seeing some places. But anyway, here we are at Zion. Good morning. We'll come back when we get up to the gate. So stand by. Annual and lifetime passes, Zion annual pass is $50. The American the Beautiful Pass, $80. Interagency for seniors is $10. Uh, entrance fees, private vehicle, $30. Motorcycle, $25. Uh, walking in or bicycles, $15. Uh, if you got a big group, you need to inquire. And if you go through a tunnel and have to have an escort, 15 bucks. So I don't know if that's what Chris and G, did they go through the tunnel here? I, I can't remember. Maybe that maybe that's uh, oh, on their yeah. video that they remember. I remember they had it. I don't know. They didn't get an escort, that. but they had to pull traffic. I'm not sure where they were when that but they got some construction going on. I guess it's early in the season trying to get ready for the busy time. A little construction. You can see there's a, a trailer with a bunch of blockades over there. Fixing to put some stuff out. And a little construction coming up here in the hill. So far all we've seen is little um, fifth wheels coming out of it and a lot of class C's. So it'll be interesting to see what you can get in and what you can up here. It's very pretty though. Yep. It's a pretty day too. What's well, the temperature today there comes right a Cisco now? truck, so you know they got concessions up there. What's the um, temperature? 69 degrees. There's a high pressure system moving in here, and we are uh, supposed to get up to 95 down St. George. So we're going to come up here today in Zion and uh, enjoy it, and then we might try to head to Bryce Canyon. Watchman Campground and South Campground, there's no vacancies. Yeah. So we got two campgrounds up here. Good morning. Good morning, folks. Louisiana. Yes, sir. <laughs> uh oh. Yes, sir. There you go. Would you like a map again? Please, please, sir. Hey, be Have safe. Have a great guys. day. You Thank you. All That's right. A nice guy. Here we go. See how fast that was? Zion Canyon Visitor Center. Let's go see the Visitor Center. There's a the little campground right here to the left. Nice little, little bumper poles, truck campers. Pop ups. Pop ups. See, there's a little doggy walking princess. See? You can come up here and park at the Visitor Center if you want, I guess, and take a what shuttle. What river is that? Uh, Stream a, or whatever. It's a wet one. Huh? A wet one. <laughs> a wet. We got their little doggies, lots of trails, shuttle service, 
All right, over here to the left is where you can camp your rig. I mean, you can park your rig. It's not camping. And camp. So if you did want to bring your big rig Stop. up here and take a shuttle, you can. Watchman Campground full, as probably always is. This is better what had no vacancies in the thing, so. We're going to take this road all the way through Zion. We're not going to do the shuttle. But look at all the this parking lot. It's slammed full, and it's not even 10 o'clock. So that must be what they were talking about then when they said the parking lot's full. Yep. So they weren't kidding. So if you want to park and do the shuttle thing, better, you better get here early. Better get here early. I don't know what time it opens. I don't know, but I don't want to do the shuttle thing. Visitor center way over there. Parking here. Yep. But we don't want to. We don't want to go to the visitor center. We've been to right. visitor centers before. We just want to come up here, show you around. There's plenty of parking right now. You're just gonna have to find it. But I bet it gets full here in a little bit. So anyway, um, here we are. So we're gonna go up here and park with the other big kids. What are we doing? We're going to go up here and park with the other, uh... With the other, with an RV lot up here, so we can show you it, so you'll know where to go. So the visitor center is right the way we were coming. We're going to come back out of here and go down here and park where the RVs can park. That's much tips right there, too. Yield to pedestrians up here. Of course, most states now it's a state it's a law that anytime you see a pedestrian in a crosswalk, you have to stop. Well, you should. Yep. All right, let's go in here. This is a lot for parking for campers. So let's go check it out and show you. This is right inside the main gate. We are on the west side of Zion, right off Highway Nine. I think Highway 9 goes through it, I believe. No cars, no overnight parking. There you go. Here's your day RV parking. Class C's lined up like cordwood. That was besttimerv.com. I had on their window. Besttimerv.com? That's what it said. Alright, so we're just going to pull over here. We're going to get our map out. We're going to go. Uh, I'm going to go off the wrong way. Night sheet. But that's it. So let us figure this stuff out and we'll get back on the road. But here's RV parking. I don't see any fifth wheels or anything, but there's no reason why you can't. Plenty of room to get around. All right, we'll be right back. 